Hey everybody, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm again, and it is another day of planting trees for us. In our last video, we planted uh, 300 of uh, three different species of trees. Those were all nursery plugs. Today, we have another 200 plus trees that are our traditional bare root transplants. I thought it would be good to share with you guys the differences between those two because they are completely different in terms of the the way the trees uh, look and feel when they arrive and they're completely different in how you plant them and how they need to be treated before planting. All right, so come along for the ride today. Let's go have a little bit of fun and let's get these trees in the ground. Here we go. So I wanted to give you a rundown of everything we need here to get ready to plant these bare root transplants. So on the ground next to me, I've got a bucket with some muddy water that I just got from the pond. Nothing special about that, but I want to have the bucket of muddy water to put my seedlings in while I'm waiting for them to go into the ground. Because while they're out of the box, I don't want any chance of those seedlings to dry out. Today in particular, it's sunny, there's a little bit of breeze, and it's low humidity, so those bare roots will dry out in a hurry, and if they dry out, that significantly decreases the chances that these trees will survive. So the, the seedlings will go in the bucket. Uh, the other thing I need to get ready here is, um, this is the root dip, and if you saw my last video, I showed this, uh, but I was gonna talk about it a little bit more here. Uh, this root dip, um, is the Die Hard brand. Uh, and there's a bunch of different brands of this, um, but this stuff here, this particular package says it will mix with 10 gallons of water and will treat up to 3,000 trees. I only have 200 trees today, so I'll plan on mixing up a gallon of this. So if I use that same ratio, uh, this 15 ounce package will treat 10 gallons of water, then one and a half ounces should treat one gallon of water. So I have my little scale here, and I'm gonna put this uh, container on top of the scale and zero it out, and then I'll put one and a half ounces of this stuff in there. Went a little bit far on that. 1.7. So we got enough of that to treat one gallon of water. So I'm just gonna put that in my bucket. And then this bucket has lines on the side so I know how far to fill it up with a gallon of water. All right, that's gonna take 20 or 25 minutes to set up. So I'm gonna set it off to the side while I prep my seedlings. This is how the bare root seedlings come shipped. It's just a normal size box, it came by UPS. And the growers just take their seedlings out of their, out of their transplant beds and drop them in the box. That's pretty much it. Uh, they shake the soil off and all that, but um, then it just leaves the roots exposed. When these trees showed up, there was nothing additional in the box. I put the newspaper in, and then I also draped uh, just a regular cotton towel over the the roots of the trees like that and i soaked that towel and then these were delivered on wednesday today's saturday um every day or so i came in and i put another cup of water in here um just because i wanted to make sure everything stayed nice and moist so um some uh some growers will send their trees with uh you know different moisture retention stuff in the box this grower obviously did not send any uh, anything in the box, and that would be uh, kind of good to know, you know, depending on uh, how quickly you can get your trees in the ground. So uh, when you get your trees, definitely make sure you open the box, take a look and see what's in there. The uh, trees that we got in the spring of this year had, um, I don't know what it was, but it was almost like a, like a sphagnum moss kind of stuff, and it had a lot of moisture uh, in that moss and that was all around the roots like the, the the grower that shipped those trees put some seedlings in and put some some of that moss stuff in and then kind of layered everything up and then made sure it was all wet before they packaged it up and, and sold it so those retain moisture pretty well 
Um, these, if I didn't open it up and take a look, uh, pretty good chance over the last three or four days that these would have dried out and, uh, and you know, we probably would have lost some trees as a result. So, um, so I shredded newspaper, helps retain some moisture. The, you know, regular old cotton towel helped retain some moisture and hopefully that helps these trees out. So here's what the transplants look like when they come out of the box. Uh, usually they're in bundles. I'm gonna guess there's probably 20 or 25 trees per bundle. I won't know until I take the rubber band off and count. But uh, you can see how long the roots are. And this is a problem because the holes that we're gonna make are only about 12 inches deep. And uh, the worst thing you can do is put the seedling in the hole and have some of the roots curled up like this. They call that J-rooting. And the problem with that is that these roots will continue to grow. They'll grow towards the surface and a couple different things can happen, but ultimately uh, that's gonna impact the health of the tree and will likely kill the tree. So you gotta make sure that the tree gets in the ground, the roots are vertical, and if you're only doing a 12 inch hole, which is what we're doing, you've gotta make sure your roots are only about 12 inches. So uh, I need to um, basically go through these trees and check the length of the roots lay them out like this and then figure out you know where we want to cut them and there's a couple ways you can cut them you can just go like this okay and we can get rid of those and these roots are all the right length so they can go in my bucket of muddy water and i'm just going to continue to do that with the rest of this bundle and i might get a second bundle if they'll fit in my bucket and then I want to get them in the ground as soon as possible. And you can see like, you know, these were grown in a transplant bed. They were grown close together. And here we have some trees where their roots have really grown together a lot. So I've got to separate these trees and then make sure their roots are growing in the right direction. All right, and the last thing we're getting ready here, and I showed this in my last video, but uh, this batch of trees, we're putting a fertilizer tablet in the hole with the seedling. So I'm gonna be carrying these around with me. Just gonna get a few dozen of these in this container. Ready to start planting. All right, so I've got everything I need here now. I've got my fertilizer tablet and my planting gel and my transplants here. And this is my dibble bar or planting bar. And uh, since I'm working by myself right now, what I'll end up doing is making you know several holes in a row. And then I'll go put the fertilizer tablets in all of those holes. And then I'll do the planting uh, one at a time and move my supplies down the row that way. Uh, but I'll just show you here what, what it's like to plant one transplant. Um, so first thing I need to do is wedge open a hole with my planting bar. So this soil was already prepared. We did the subsoiler first and then we did the, the tilling second. And to plant the tree, you just use your dibble bar like that, wedge yourself a hole. Uh, the dibble bar is about 12 inches long, so it, it automatically goes down about 12 inches. I'm gonna get my fertilizer tablet and I'm just gonna put it off to the side, one of these sides here. And the um, reason you do that, you just don't want it in direct contact with your roots. You want the roots to kind of grow into it as it dissolves. And next, I'm gonna grab my, my seedling out of my bucket. I'm gonna dip it in this planting gel and you can see how that goo sticks to all the root systems. And then right here above the root system, is where we want our soil level to be. So I, when I go and place this in the hole, I'm gonna just grab the tree right about there, and then I'm gonna make sure that when I put this into the hole, I'm gonna make sure all the roots are vertical, none of them are curving upwards. And when I put it in the hole, I wanna make sure that this point right here is the height of the top of my soil. So right now it's actually not deep enough, and I need to make my hole bigger, deeper.
All right. Now I can get, I can backfill the soil here, making sure that I get good soil contact with those roots all the way around. I'm gonna move so soil in all around this tree and then I'm gonna tamp it down really well all the, all the way around it. And that's it. Make sure it's straight, make sure it's tight and it's good to go. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I now remember what it was like planting the bare root transplants. We did that in the spring of this year for the first time. And you have to make sure you've got a bigger, deeper hole for these more established root systems. So compared to the plugs, all we really need was a small five inch hole for the plugs and you could drop it in, fill it in quickly. These, we're gonna spend more time digging bigger holes and making sure there's good soil contact uh, with the roots when we fill those holes back in. So it's a little bit more work planting these bare root transplants. What I'm really curious of, and I'll keep you guys posted in the future videos, if the nursery plugs end up doing better and growing better and having a better success rate than the bare root transplant. So we'll keep you posted to that in future videos. If you like this kind of video, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel as well. And when you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can get notified of our future videos. Uh, that's all for today. If you got any questions or comments about tree planting, by all means, leave those in the comments. I look forward to reading your comments and responding to as many as I can. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.